True View Podcast. A bunch of different views. <laughs> The boys keep it real, man. I really like listening to them, man. They funny. Yeah. Son. They really speak their truth. What the hell was that? <laughs> year, year, year. <laughs> what he do? What the business is? What's good? It's your boy Mel, and we are back in the building again, bringing the barbershop to the box office, baby. True View Podcast, and I mean True View with the strap and the crew. Let's go. <coughs> let's go on with oh, this show. Oh. Woo! I yell over the, a lot. I yell over the pause, baby. It's strap season. You know that what I mean? Lot. Black oh man's my god, baby. Let's go. Wow, uh, I am the I am hyphen X. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. Um, yeah, I leave it to my guy. Yeah, uh, we here. Let's get it. That's right. Once again, thanks again for tuning in. It's the man with the real on the real, grown man MJ with the people to be. Let's get it. Let's get it. Cheers, gentlemen. To a good show, you already know. Yeah, man. Ah. Woo! Uh, Shout out to the misrepresentation in this movie. But what are we getting uh, into yeah. today? <laughs> well, the Iron Claw. What is that? You might ask. I'll tell you this. The true story of the inseparable Von Eric brothers. Well, they were kind of inseparable. We'll get into it. Stop. Uh, just, make, just read it. Just read it. The intense in the intensely competitive world, intensely competitive world of professional wrestling. In the early 1980s, through tragedy and triumph, under the shadow of their domineering father and coach, the brothers seek larger than life immortality on the biggest stage in sports entertainment. The Iron Claw. I had to add the entertainment part because they don't they don't they didn't say that back then. They just said in sports. So I just sports entertainment. Yes. But either way, wow. This movie plucked at your heart strings and it gave you something to look at. Look at me now. Look at me now. Oh. Well, guys, I really enjoy this movie. I am a wrestling fanatic. I really enjoy uh, the storylines, the families, the legacies, the histories. What the fuck? You know, and I enjoyed this movie. I remembered, like, you know, some of these characters more so than others I, just, I don't understand I, I do not understand i don't i don't get it i just don't get it what you don't get just but just I, this nigga here man bro just chill out let just chill for a second bro, just this relax audio. this is audio <laughs> they, can, they can see us on youtube nigga, what the fuck you mean bro chill <laughs> We take it over. We take it over the podcast, baby. For life. Like, right. like I just enjoy like the uh, the realness of this. The characters. I like I like the dad. The dad character is one of my favorite characters in this. God damn. I, hey, however you want to look at it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I appreciate the it, early man. look at on, on, on wrestling that this gave me. Me not necessarily being the fanatic of wrestling, I watched it. I did partake in a good era of it, but I kind of have left it alone. And, and going back and watching this, it kind of made you fall back in love with that early day of wrestling that you actually grew up watching, where it uh -huh. wasn't acrobatic 
moves. It was more, you know, more of the moves we were seeing here, and it was simple. It was early innovation. You get what I'm to, to the sport. Yeah, they had to really sell it, and the characters were much larger. And everything that I saw in this movie kind of showed me where the blueprint kind of started from. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To, to, uh, to where we are now. To, to where we are now, the characters that we have now, the larger than life. You know, Stone Cold Steve Austin's and what's the Gene? What's the Gene do? Who do the uh, commentating? All of that. Mean Gene. Gene. Mean Gene. Yeah. Okay. Gene, yeah. So all of that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? I really, I really got a lot of the early essence of that from this movie. I appreciate that shit. No, man. I, I definitely, when I started watching this, shout out to Zach Efron really capturing that time. Because <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Oh, oh, oh we way, wow. we way back. Oh, my God. <laughs> Partridge, like he was part of the Partridge family or some shit. That like, motherfucker, when he looked like he was uh he was auditioning for He Man, like Masters of the Universe is a remake or some shit. But for real, like when uh, that's coming out, when that's dropping. <laughs> 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 but no, man, uh, to really dive behind that and and show the father's failure. Uh, pushing that upon the sons and all of that stuff, and really driving this whole goddamn family crazy with uh, chasing a dream for him. They showed too how much work it really is because we we look at it and wrestling, and you hear people say it's fake, and you hear like all of that that uh, rhetoric and and whatnot. But you really see the work that they put into these are professional stuntmen, which. Anything could go wrong at a, a split second with the wrong move at the wrong time that wasn't blocked correctly. They could be paralyzed. They can, you know, have things happen to their their mental. We saw like it, it was just to bring that realism the, to what a lot of spectator fans don't see. I mean, the ones that are really diehard and dive into it. Yes, they they delve deep into the, all of the personal people's lives. They know everything that's happening behind the scenes, in front of the scenes and everything. But to show this movie just for the casual fans, I thought this was a very good move, and they did it very well. I thought. Yeah, they concentrated on that that fan the family part of it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Small small town American family, all, all American type family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Two two parent household, kids going to the go, going to the Olympics. One's gonna be a, a star wrestler. You know what I'm saying? And then and then boom. You know the government gets involved. You know what I'm saying? Detours everything. Damn. You know, but I like that part of it because you don't really know about those things that happen to them. You know what I'm saying? We just know the end, re the characters, and then the end result of their real life uh, personas, the real life person. So I, th I, I did like that. I liked it a lot. No, I, I even like them. I, I, I even like the mom in this, like her acting without words. You know what I'm saying? Like very little words, I should say. Well, too, like, that was the time. That was the time too. They yeah. Were, were yeah. Lot. So a lot more me. Um, time and the state. Yeah. Yeah. Time and state. But no, to bring up the the family, the family aspect, it was cool to see this uh family legacies played out. I, there's I mean, there's numerous legacy families within wrestling. Uh you had the, the Guerreros, you got the the hearts. Uh, I don't know if they still got people going and in, in what they're doing, what they were doing. But I remember Stu and that. You had all them Polynesian motherfuckers, them big Samoan motherfuckers. That was yeah, they they just a whole clan. That that includes yeah, the Rock, Roman, all all of them for the family. You said who? Kane and the Undertaker. Yeah, yeah. Was they really related? They wasn't really related. They wasn't. No, Kane. Yeah. Kane's the mayor of uh, yeah. Knoxville, Tennessee. Yeah, Kane used to be Isaac Yankum DDS. He came in playing so a Jesse Ventura was the uh wasn't he the governor? Uh yeah. Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, man, showing that legacy though within the families and shit. That shit was it's like damn, like people really do this. Like they they get together and like, all right, we're gonna get them in, we're gonna do this. And but was that is that really the goal to to be the champion or do you think you can you can make a name for yourself and be famous without having a strap right no nah, you got to get the strap uh, even in, even oh in wrestling God. yes you it's the pinnacle like you, there you can be successful without being the world champion 
there's other uh, subsidiary titles like I, it's right. I'm gonna so say you US, gonna grab an intercom. You know what I'm saying? You are gonna grab a tag, tag team, team. You gonna do something? Yeah, you not. Yeah, you got to get yeah. it somewhere. And, and it's it's notoriety. You know what I'm saying? It's respect. It was more so towards if he has if, if they get the NWA championship in his promotion. That's what it was about in his promotion. Then it gets a stamp, a stamp on his promotion. Like our champ, the champion of all all the territories are coming out of our promotion. So it was a great dream to have. It was a great business model. He wasn't afraid to do what he thought was best for business. When uh, Kevin couldn't couldn't uh, grab the microphone and talk, and David could, you know what I'm saying? He was like, We're going- David has the look. He's tall. You know what I'm saying? He's blonde. You know, he has, he has the look. He can talk on the microphone. Let's fucking get him out here. You know what I'm saying? He switched it up. And I think that's where the dad made his first mistake. But he kind of had one son prep for it and then took it away from him when yep. he felt like he couldn't do it anymore. It but this the motherfucker that you yeah, kept taking away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But all because I think he re- he resented now, him because he wasn't the, o- he wasn't the oldest son. Mm. Now, was this known to wrestling fans that their family had a curse on their name? I didn't know. Uh, it it came out it came out later on. Like I said, you kind of found out a lot of this stuff through conversation and through the magazines. They used to have magazines all the time, like at the grocery store and shit. I used to read the magazines, mm-hmm. and there was something about them having some type of curse on their name because it was known knowledge that they had multiple brothers who had committed suicide. You know what I'm saying? It was multiple brothers. Now, as far as what the curse was and where it came from, this, that, and the third, it, that wasn't that wasn't common knowledge. It wasn't like all oh, we think he, they were cursed because of their last name. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't. That, that's not common knowledge. You have to be within the inner circles to know that shit, mm-hmm. or the or them telling us. No, that's interesting because I know. They now, did any of uh, Kevin's children go on to wrestle? I believe. Now that I'm not. Of them. I'm that I'm not for sure. I know two of and them they did were, had to do something with tag teams. I can't recall which ones uh, they were, but they they did do uh, tag teams. So his sons joined as a tag team. I believe so. Don't quote me on that. And if they did, that's just how they was too. But I don't. I want to say they right didn't go under the Von Eric's name though, because he, yeah, he, he changed their name. They, they, he changed their name. Yeah, he changed their name, so I know he took the he wanted that Von Eric curse off of his kids. Do y'all think that can happen? Y'all believe in the first name like that? No, what I was gonna say was remember that mantra that he was saying if we was the we was the strongest, if we was the best, you know what I mean? We would, you know, outlive the curse and you know, we'd not be affected by the curse and everything. Mm-hmm. So basically, he kind of admitted that he wasn't the best, or he wasn't the strongest, or what, by changing the name. I, th- I think that's a good that's a good take on it, though, because he wasn't he wasn't the best. His father kind of deemed him he wasn't the best. You know what I'm saying? Right. He wasn't the one that went on went on to go fight Flair and shit. <laughs> and go go <laughs> that go, scene they had at the, in the early on when they was at breakfast. He's like, you know, Kerry's my favorite. Then it's Kevin. Then but David. Then Michael. Michael. But the rankings can change. And there's room for him. <laughs> and, that, and that's real. <laughs> and that's real. Bro. I'm just trying to eat my bacon, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he lived, it was all male household. And in the all male household, it's going to be some hierarchy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's going to be hierarchy in here. You know, I've given you all the ability. I know that some may soar in different areas. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened. He had it all mapped out. But then, you know, I think he made some he made some questionable decisions in the end. But in the beginning, he did pretty good running the audible. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, David, we're going to put you in here because he was more charismatic. You know what I'm saying? He was. Um, Zach Afron's character didn't really have a personality. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like he was, a- he was athletic. Yeah. But he was Goldberg. He couldn't talk on the mic. No. Yeah, to an, yeah. I'm Goldberg. <laughs> now, when uh, all the CTE claims came out for football, were the wrestlers included in any of these studies? Were Were they going back for you know CTE on these guys? Because you could see it. Yeah, uh, we were, uh, we were talking, talking about yeah. off mic. Uh, I think they they pitted that on uh, Chris Benoit, who we're not supposed to say the name we don't speak of or something, but they yeah, they said that was CTE allegedly. You said that allegedly, 
There we go. <laughs> hey, I'm lost. What the fuck is CTE? Man, oh, I don't have anything to say. It's a head injury, basically, with the brain from brain uh, trauma. What they say football players get from mm. and they say you, know, constant, you know collisions. It causes different, you know, traumas that we see in in behavior. I guess so is the way to put it. Oh, that was great. Where we've seen suicides, we've seen violent crimes and stuff like that from these individuals. And there's <laughs> basically a off. There's some. There's some off. With the wiring, you see, mm-hmm. TV been slapped too much. Sips T. In layman's terms. God damn. One too many to the noggin. God damn. No, they definitely. Uh... I know they. I know they talked about it with boxers. I know they talked about it with the football, but I didn't. I didn't know if they went over with you know professional wrestling. They have, but and, and again, like I said, these are professional stunt men. Where you look at those matches that we've seen, where they're doing these a no hold bar and shit, and slammed on oh and barbed wire and barbed wire strap bats and yeah, oh all of this, dog. Like, yeah, fat ass chains and shit, dog. They, they, they getting wild because it. I, I'm guessing. I'm I'm sure it didn't start off like that, but. You know, you got to do something to shock your audience more yeah. and more and more. And it just keeps elevating and elevating and elevating. Like, it, yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. going to have somebody pull out a gun out there and then the jock strap. It, it's going to come there. It's going to It's going to get we are, there. We've already seen the Billy Clubs and everything else, the two yep. by four and everything else. Yeah. Thanks, come on, Jim Duggan. Yep. <laughs> Oh, that motherfucker cracking motherfuckers with a two by four. Hey, man, just don't let Alec Ball win in that motherfucker, man, because you'd be coming up short on motherfuckers. To, well, yeah, let's not talk about that because they're, they're, they're doing him wrong. I mean, that shit. They're doing him wrong. You know what? I just have, I just have to remember I am not in a safe place. This is not a safe oh, place. Dude, Nigga, it's not it wasn't his gun. It was this this gun belonged to this belonged to the staff. It was a prop. Wait, what are we talking about? He here? didn't know he he didn't know it was really loaded. We, 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 let's talk about it later. Let's talk about it later. Yeah, he's not bust on this, short bust on this. He ain't supposed to aim at that person. Oh my god, it's um, not even a real. He thought it wasn't real. It's a prop gun. Why they got real bullets in a prop gun? Yeah, but I mean, why you pointing a gun at another person? Because I think it. Because I think it's fake. Because I think it's fake. But you ain't supposed to aim it though. Anyway, all right. I'll kick it off, man. Um, <laughs> I know this oh, was. I sound dumb. I, you know, I, I fuck y'all, man. I sound dumb. Hey, I don't even know what the fuck we talking about, nigga. What the fuck? I don't know what y'all talking about. I sound dumb. I sound dumb. <laughs> Yo, you all right, dog? Yeah. Huh? Go and roll up. Roll, roll you another drink. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm good, G. He said, you, fuck nah, man, man. he said, fuck y'all just like they did us with this Rick Fair impersonation. Because God damn it, dog. Man. <laughs> I, was very, I was very, I think. Yeah. I, I, that motherfucker that. That played Rick Flair? I don't know who that was, but no, that he was shit, white. That shit was awful. No, nah, folks, were terrible. Or shit. And I was like, why? Like, you couldn't find nobody to play him legitly? At least bring the like like don't look like him. I like a uh, Ryan Gosling version of Rick Flair. No, <laughs> Romeo and Juliet version. That shit is terrible. That motherfucker said, woo. Yeah, couldn't he, even, he couldn't even get the he couldn't even get the strut right. He couldn't even get the strut right. I was like, oh my god, this is awful. This is god awful. Woo! Like, come on, bro. My father was tick flare. Yeah, no sauce. <laughs> Limp, and that's and that and that kind of and that kind of really messed my score up. Tick flare, shit. like for real, for real. <laughs> That knocked, that knocked my score down, and them not really homing in on the, I believe, was the more tragic of the deaths because it was the more, like, noticeably known on TV, the Texas Tornado carried by Eric. 
You know what I'm saying? I thought they could have leaned on that character because I never even knew. I never even knew that this nigga only had one foot. I never knew that. I never knew that either. That shocked the shit out of me, bro. I, and that nigga used to do some crazy shit. Is that the reason for his move? He didn't come up with that finishing move right away. He was trying to run or something, and the, the leg was coming off, and he was trying to like turn around. Probably did the circle thing and hit somebody, and they were like, you know what? That shit works. Yeah, that shit works. Play with it. Go Let me see you run that. And back. then. <laughs> and and then remember I said like I gave about 90% true because he actually got Kevin uh Terry by Eric, he actually got uh kicked out of the he got fired from the WWF at that time because of substance abuse. That makes and sense. if you were gonna run if you're gonna run with a story, you should have ran with that one. You know what I'm saying? Because they are homed in a little bit more on that one. They just they just skimmed over the top. A lot of this shit was surface. A lot of this shit was. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. They kind of <laughs> just skimmed through all the depths real quick. It seemed like it was like one right after the other. It didn't really. Well, shit, they, they left out uh, Chris Chris Von Eric, the youngest one, who committed right. suicide, and there was a apparently there was like a year before Carrie did. So if they would have oh, added yeah. that in. So yeah, that would have made more sense to Kerry's situation. Hell yeah, because oh. it just seemed like he fell off a cliff at one point. Yeah. And he yeah, he had won the belt, hurt his leg, got back into the ring, and you know, was doing straight. And then he was like, yo, now I'm not feeling so good about this shit. Well I mean, then hey, too. Man. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, Mike. No, that's what he was like. And then it was just like, pow. It was like, yo, this shit is crazy. It was like, but again, it was like one right after the other. It really didn't explain too much of how they really got to that situation. Or, or It led us to believe you know, it was the dad, right? Yeah, um, it led us to believe it was definitely the dad. Well, the way Kevin reacted was definitely right. what, what kind of kind of stuck at home for you. But then with them missing the youngest brother committing suicide too, that whole heaven sequence is, is off. Right, because then I'm like, all right. So why would they just leave? I mean, him? never. Not every. Not everybody go to heaven, and they said the suicide people don't go to heaven either. So well, it's all lost. In there, except for one, the one that died. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Then how Carrie make it to heaven? I'm just saying what they say. I'm not. I'm not. And, and I'm just rebutting what they say. That's why we can't listen to everybody. But the whole heaven sequence don't make any sense because you're leaving out a brother. And if you put that brother in, I don't know their reasons why they left left him out of the movie. But if if you put him in there, it like that whole downfall of it, and it makes it look way more tragic with the being a Von Eric. Like it really hones in on shit. This is a fucking curse. This motherfucker died. This motherfucker killed itself this motherfucker killed itself behind this motherfucker like what the fuck like it's this motherfucker got injured and and got brain damage this motherfucker lost a leg come on dog so okay and, so and okay so this is only okay, one so, to get, was to get a was the only one to get abroad though yeah wow. yeah <laughs> but, but an he, experience but he, bro. he was emotionally damaged because he just couldn't add up to the you know, make his father proud. <laughs> said, did your family oh, teach you how to ask questions or no? Say that again. She said, yo, did your family teach you how to ask questions or no? I said, no. damn. Go for a run. <laughs> run this shit off, dog. <laughs> Do some push-ups. They was oozing my cheese mo. God damn it. Yeah, I say for All right, so David, so oh, go ahead, bro. No, go ahead. So David was the first one, first one to go out, right? That was on the on the movies. In the movie, the tall one. So right. he died. He died. He no, no. I'm just talking about he's the first one to go out. In the I'm, not, I'm not saying. I'm not. Go ahead. I'm not saying put him in order. So, <laughs> so he had an older brother that died, but David was the first Ooh. one actually in the movie that died. Yeah, right, 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 right. So correct. So David dies, right? So I want to. How do you blame? The father for his death because okay because he was pushing him it was the it was the the dream that his father had that he put into his children that gave them the drive to keep going and and, and accomplish things that were kind of out of reach the, the, every time he came in the room talking about you getting you getting your shot it was some like you got to do this to do jump through this hoop and once you jump through this hoop you got to crawl through the fire you know and walk over the coals and swim with the sharks, and then maybe you can get the championship belt title shot after that. It but was then, always like that. It always ended it, it with like, uh, "Don't let me down," because you let the yeah, family. And it was yeah, and it was like yeah, this is supposed <laughs> to be for our family, son. You know, I've what I'm saying? always wanted that belt in this house. Yes, right. 
All of that. I'm putting it on y'all. So when this motherfucker's early and talking about you need to take a break, he like, no, nah, I just I'm just sick and I can get I can get it done. I'm almost there. It's and he wouldn't have been taking steroids. Yeah, and you know, yeah, yeah, for real, on the bullshit. None of that would have happened if, if if pops wasn't on it. Go ahead, defend yeah, it. Yeah, what is the, the so, so, a so better I, reinforcement I, I, for what they what they were doing? Then they, they probably wouldn't have to go the route they was going. You know what I'm saying? This wait, wait, don't say that again. This mother, if the if the if the father gave a better reinforcement for what they were doing, they probably didn't have to go the route they was going. This I motherfucker truly was, was the first. <clears throat> this nigga was truly first LeVar Ball. You see what I'm saying? If you see his, <laughs> his, his boys is in the league right now, injury after injury. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Touché. And one of them couldn't even make it. You see what I'm saying? And the and this same situation with, was going on with his kids. That's what I witnessed. It's like the father was cursing them for his failures because he couldn't cut it and make it. So he going to put all that pressure on them damn kids <laughs> just because right. you don't feel it. Like you took forever to get up, motherfucker! I got slammed on the goddamn concrete. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like that shit hurt, dog. Did he break something? He broke ribs or something? Then when the brothers, so, uh, when I'm... the brothers pass, okay, you tell them no crying. Like how yeah. you gonna man let them niggas cry, man? Let that shit out. I man. mean, you gotta you gotta look at. Okay, first of all, relax. Look, at, we gotta look at the time period. Her people. That's hurt. just kind of how it was back. That's just kind of how it was back then. He didn't want them crying in public. Right, though. They don't make it right. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, I, I sat here and I was quiet. Yeah, true enough. I was quiet. All right. So, as fathers, right? Talk to the fathers, right? Do you... do? do I, I'm going to come to you too, Mike. As fathers, do... Okay, fathers and uncles, nigga. As uh, ma positive male role model, black role models in children's lives. Do you not want them to acquire the things that you did not acquire? No, 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 no. I want no, them to no, just no, be necessary. That's what, what they feel. You more so okay, want them so to <clears throat> you, want, you more so want them to dodge the downfalls that you face. You more you more so want them to do that. You don't necessarily want them to oh, me, my you know what I'm saying, this nigga to be dunking at thirteen or no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't care, but you know what I'm saying shit like that. I'm I just, just to the, the, the question. Oh, I was like, I'm in the spot where I'm just Try not to pass my trauma off onto them. Yeah, I can. Some people say trauma. Question. Some people say drive. For me, because you know, at one point I was real heavy on my son about music, and he was very good at it at a young age. And then he just lost interest. And I would, you know, try to, hey, won't you come in here do this, do that? And he was like, Nah, I'm cool. The whole time, my daughter is the one. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't see it because I was so, you know, on to pushing him to do it. You know what I'm saying? But by the time I have another child that's talented that I wasn't really paying attention to as she called at the shit. Did he ever say why he wasn't interested in it anymore? No, nah, I think he still has, you know, glimpses of him having interest here and there, but he's just finding his own way. Like he's in the fashion real heavy and he's a he's a crazy uh <laughs> <laughs> He's a crazy hustler, you know what I'm saying, with the reselling shoes and reselling clothes. So I'm like, man, I got to let him, you know what I'm saying, you know, do his thing. Find his way. Yeah, right. Yep. No, but I was asking that because I asked some of my young nephews about, you know, music and they kind of fell back on. They really not into it no more. They didn't watch so many of their favorites get get knocked off or, you know, pass over True. overdoses type shit. So they like, True. man, I'm not even, don't give now, a that, fuck. Like, that is you know. my, you know what I'm saying, scary thought of even my children getting into music. And that's really my, you know, my goal is to, hey, I got to set this up so if they do choose to go that route, you know what I'm saying, they ain't got to deal with this crazy ass business and this weird shit. You feel you on that? Back to the president. You Typhon, you got any more rebuttal? No, I'm good, man. I, I see. I, I'm just reading it wrong. It's good. I, I don't think. I, I don't think he's a terrible father. I think he maybe made a fuck up with the younger kid. You know what I'm saying? He had no business in the ring. But from other three, I think he was absolutely right. He's an entrepreneur. It was his business. You understand? It. He understood exactly. talent. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. He understood. So, so he understood. Hold on. He. I, he, he Go ahead. I like let him finish. Let him he, finish. Go ahead. He he under he understood talent. He understood the business. You know what I'm saying. But I do think he was reaching 
on that last one, and that was the most devastating one. I think it was. I think uh, Kerry Von Eric did show that he needed some type of structure in his life. You know what I'm saying? He was out here just doing shit. You know, he lost his leg. I don't know what what else he would have been doing coming back from the Olympics. You know, he was a natural for the ring. He was an athlete. He made a pivot move. You know what I'm saying? I think it's unfortunate okay. that his his, no. his children that that his children killed themselves. But I don't think it's fair to place the blame on him for them taking their own lives. Okay. Now, now you can see how the father's influence affected Michael's life, right? And how it was a negative impact on him, right? You can, you can, you can draw that line pretty clear, right? Yeah, because he didn't have any business in the ring, right? But that same impact and influence was also on David and it kept him going when he had a storm a torn stomach lining or something like that and that's why he was coughing the blood in the first place but he chose not to go get care and kept on with the tour don't want to let and, my dad down and, yeah it's in order not to let the, the, the father down because he was chasing the world class he so, you know he, guys guys he also wanted that too he wanted the belt too I want to be the one to bring the belt home. I he also had those same dreams and aspirations. The belt home for why? Not? He still it's nothing wrong with a child wanting to please their parent. It's nothing wrong with I'm that. Saying, I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying that you have to also take accountability for your role in what your child's decision making is too. So the X factor and all that I said that Michael didn't belong in the ring. Right. David did but David did belong in the ring. Uh, David was good. He's the one he David, David is really the David one. David would have been his, better as the manager for Kevin. No, who, who David is the one the, that he put who under up the matches, who hyped up the matches and talked the most shit for him. He would have been better as that. that and him now, and, you Kevin, now, Kevin, Kevin, now you do understand now you do understand. Would have been the better what, tags department. What 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 you're what you're saying is absolutely right, but you have to understand where you are in the wrestling bracket right then and there. Yeah. Managers and everything that was a like a almost a new concept. You know what I'm saying? Having somebody come out with another person and whatnot. That's why it was so foreign when David snatched the mic from Kevin and he was just like, "Bro, you should have just let me talk." You know what I'm saying? Because because talking got into the game and. When the dad saw that, he was like, he has the look, he has the talent, you know what I'm saying? He has the athleticism. I'm just going to mold him a little bit. He's the one that you saw him give him, give him the claw, teach him, ripping the, ripping the phone books and shit, really giving him that grip because he was all in on David. Now, did he have some, did David have pressure from his dad or his coach, you know, or his manager? Yes, he did. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, he didn't, because David didn't kill it. Because I, because I was keep in mind, David didn't kill himself. He just ran himself into the ground. But real quick, you got to also understand that this was the dad's business, so he has a different type of uh, reasoning for family why business. They, why they, why they need to be in the ring and you know pushing for the belt and all that other shit. He was, he was on some masterpiece shit. How he was pumping out albums week after week on the nigga. You know what I mean? The way he was rolling them motherfuckers in the ring. And so that's why I say he has to also take some kind of, you know, accountability for shit. All of his sons. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I, I would say for Michael, yes. Gary went out on his own. He And uh, David David just had a, a, a real hard, hard work ethic. You know what I'm saying? If he's guilty of anything. Motherfucker, now, as he far as called his dad in the middle of the night and said, go watch Gary. The motherfucker tripping. Go watch him. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot about oh, that. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah, 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 yeah. He got it. Yeah, he I, got forgot. He said, I told, I told, y'all, I told y'all you to watch it. Out. Yeah, hey, there was y'all. Like, nah, no, that's on y'all. That's on y'all. Y'all do yeah, this. I'm going out to work. Yeah, y'all figure it out. He was tripping, dog. But well, he's the yeah, thing that got that part. He said, "Watch him until I get there." He didn't say right. just hey, watch. like, hey, mm-hmm. just. I forgot about that. I forgot about that part. Yeah, bro. God damn. Hey, man. Either way, though. And, and he shot him with a gun that he bought for him. Man, dog. That was crazy. Yo, that was crazy. I was like, there's some irony there, bro. That whole part, 
I was like, man, this motherfucker acting his ass off because I show I felt it. If you want to crown them, then crown their ass. Now, we just sat and talked about the pops. Well, I'm, I'm with you, Hyphen. He was one of my favorite characters, man, the way that motherfucker was talking. That okay. motherfucker threw an interception and then told him, yo, you the best line back. <laughs> like, no, nah, motherfucker, you the worst quarterback. <laughs> you don't throw that ball to Mike the right way, man. You be, you was playing Mike. That's what you was doing. Shout out. Uh, you talking uh, Fritz Von Eric, who was played by Holt McElhaney? 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 Whatever. I, can't even, I didn't even look at his name. Holt. But no, nah, he, wasn't he in Avatar or something, too, or something? I believe I so. Oh, uh, is this the general? Right. I think so, yeah. No, that's not the general. Mm -hmm. no, that's, that's not him? No, mm -hmm. that ain't the general. No, nah, he was straight, though. This ain't the, this ain't the nigga from, uh... And then shout out the to motherfucker him. from that. You know what I'm saying? Playing, uh, Kerry Von Eric. I liked his character, too. Jeremy Allen. Jeremy Allen White. Yeah, he was my crown. Because that motherfucker... Yeah. I just... I enjoyed seeing his rise. And he made his fall so believable. Especially the, the limping with the leg and all. Like, he he played the shit out of that part. My nigga Lip. He what? Lip. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lip and that's uh that's homie from the bear too. And he just yeah. he just won a yeah. uh he won a uh uh Emmy for that. So shout out to him, man. Doing this goddamn thing, bro. Doing this goddamn thing. Chavo Guerrero Jr. was in his mug. Yeah, what? he played the sheet. Like I said that I didn't get the chance to talk about neither. They did a good job uh re impersonating a lot of the wrestlers except for Rick Flair. Like Carly Race was dope yeah, too. That, that Rick Flair shit was awful. <laughs> Like, come on. Corey Blade. That's who played Rick. Yeah, shout out to uh Mara <laughs> Tierney too, who played Doris Von Eric, the mother. I thought she was yeah, she did a great job. Uh, yeah, with her control on 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 screen as well. Nah, that was uh like, Aaron like that. Dean Eisenberg that played Rick Flair. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, he dropped a bomb on screen, not in a good way, just like uh Oppenheimer Eisenberg. Man, shit, that's some bullshit. Right, <laughs> just to say what uh. Pick up, pick up what Mike just said. What uh, Mora? She uh, she did a good job. Like that that scene where she had to wear the same black dress again. Damn. Oh man. Woo. Damn, bro. Oh, I like devastating. I like the scene at the end when she was like, uh, when he was like, "Yo, what you doing?" And he was, she was like, "Nothing." Just he's like, uh, "Where's dinner at?" He's like, "You feel like cooking?" Yeah, I'm painting, motherfucker. Yeah, was in the corner <laughs> painting and shit. I was like, "This motherfucker cold right here." Oh shit! It's a wrap. It's I'm gonna I'm gonna give a crown to Zach Efron too, man, because I didn't I didn't realize that was him till halfway through the movie. I really thought I just some seventies motherfucker. I was like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> Tell so I'm looking at him. He I'm did like, dope. He did that ain't dope. Zach. Is that Zach? That's Zach. No, that ain't Zach. That's the high school musical motherfucker. Man. Like, oh shit, Zach E Man Efron. <laughs> He did a good job, but it's just something about his facial expressions when he on the goofy shit that I just saw all over this shit when he was trying to be serious. <laughs> Not knocking, you know what I'm saying, his acting abilities. He he had some chops on this, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. That shit just stuck. You know what I'm saying? So you clowned him. I ain't gonna clown him, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna clown I, the, 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 the clown gonna gotta go to Rick Flair. Flair. Yeah, yeah, Rick Flair was my clown, goddamn. I was like, that was awful. That was God fucking Rick awful. Flair get the clown? I don't yeah. even care to look up the dude's name that played him. Like it was that bad. <laughs> it was ter it was terrible. The motherfucker that played Rick Flair. I like I've seen Asians. I've seen, I seen, I seen, I seen Asians playing uh Rick Flair. Oh, that makes better it better than that guy. I woo. I need your boy. A woo. Not where I was. Yeah. Oh shit! My bad. I took my bad. That was that's, that's my fault, man. <laughs> that's my fault. That was my fault. Oh man! One thing I did, I did uh, forget to bring up in this. They the budget for this movie was fifteen million, and so far worldwide they have doubled and then some. Uh, they are at I want to say thirty four million, thirty thirty six. I'm sorry, thirty six million, almost thirty seven million worldwide gross. So now, motherfuckers movie, are going out to see this movie. Um, this movie kind of just dropped on me. Did y'all have like any anticipation for it? I wasn't really ready for it. I didn't. No, know. I, uh, I've been so disconnected from anything wrestling, but I'm I'm slowly getting back into it. But I'm I'm glad this was brought to the pod. 
just so we can review this, man. It, it was definitely done very well. But you know what, man? These wrestling movies are really awesome, dog. Like every one that I've seen. I can't really I can't really think of one that was just terrible that I watched. Who uh who who was you giving the clown, Mike? My clown? Shit. And Loki was going to Mike's character. So to Michael Von Eric. Mm. Michael Von Eric, the, the younger brother? Yeah, it was Loki going to him. Like when that mug went that when that mug after his injury, he kinda, you know, he was he was a little off, but he wasn't far off from when he started. So it was like I don't, I didn't. It was like yo, it was a little slower. Damn, moved a little, just moved a little slower. Talked talked a little slower. <laughs> like I said, he had no business in the ring. Mo was like the uh, comic book character that always ate the burgers and shit. <laughs> Oh no. So with them with them doing so well with this movie and it dropping and everything, what do we think the messaging like why why would they release this now? Think about it. Take a second. Well look at what's going on with Vince, man. This could be something that helps, you know, re energize the fandom in wrestling. That could have been partially the reason it was brought out now i mean just the timing is kind of weird I, I must say but allegedly but the messaging of this joint i don't know it, it was just one of them things where you kind of witness the father's struggle that he puts on to his children unbeknownst to them you know what i'm saying like the sins of the father type shit mm. message yeah i well, agree i know me personally that's you know what i took away from this film not pushing you know what i'm saying your own dreams and aspirations on your children you know and i get that his children show interest you know in his dream but you know what i'm saying well, if, they, if they got something else going man let them do their thing that's what i'm asking you yes. what else do they have going that I, th I think that's what it is you keep saying the road, that they have other the things what did but, what did they have what did they have the the one he Stuff was Michael. Music. Michael had music. That, Michael that's had what I'm music. Speaking on. That's what I'm speaking on. And and two, so, I feel that we didn't get enough background. And I, I didn't get the you know what I'm saying really dig into my short bus. I would have liked to see, you know, more of the children's life, you know what I'm saying, or or interest like to yeah. kind of know, you know what I'm saying, what else they had going outside of the wrestling thing. I think the problem was that that was their life. Drugs. The father like kind of put that on them. Like like I said, he was he failed at what he set out to do, so he kind of put the, all of that pressure on the children. It was like, look, y'all got to bring this back to the house. You got to do this family proud. You got to make the name proud. And and you know y'all got to be great at wrestling. Even yeah, remember he said it even in this in that one scene. He's like, I wouldn't wish wish this career on none of y'all. But he did. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was <the> thing. <laughs> he was selling it then. He's still selling it. But yeah, man, I, I I think the messaging was just like, don't let your downfall carry over to your son. Don't pass down your trauma uh -huh. onto the kids. Go ahead, save it, save it, hyphen message. The sins of I think that this I, I I believe that this movie has a lot to do with self doubt and making sure you have some self validation, overcoming self sabotage. You see a lot of that in the Kevin's character. That I believe that once his father did deem him that he wasn't the one, he settled into that role when knowing all along that he was the one. You know, I think if you would have just, if you start to believe in yourself, even when those who are around you once did believe in you and they no longer do, then you have to find it within yourself to continue to move forward. Uh, and that you can, too, break a family curse. And you need to do what you need to do for you and your family once you start to uh, have seeds of your own. Your family does trump the mm -hmm. other family that you came from. Well, so you are agreeing that, <laughs> that that they were cursed. I'm agreeing that they believe that they were cursed. Man, what in the word salad? It is everyone's favorite game show. <laughs> Rename <laughs> that great. <laughs> know your role and shut your mouth. Damn. So I couldn't get a message after mine. Everybody got a message after that. You couldn't just press the button.
Yeah, he, gave you the, he gave you the message before you even hey, talk. Man. Hey, hey, no, no, no. I needed it afterwards, but it's cool. Uh, this could be called. Out the red uh, carpet, man. The, I gave hey, you man. The uh, hey, hey, hey. The level of disrespect. Hey, hey will you see it? It'd be it? impeccable. Will you see it? it bro? Chef, we can't. Chef's kiss, my nigga. This will be called uh Cursed Be Thy Name. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's a good one. That's a literally. Good one. Mm, mm, mm. Fritz and Frack, god damn it. Hang in there. Eric Degenerates. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you dig it, sucker? God damn. <laughs> the family business, the family the hustle. Thing. The game. I brought you in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Tales of the father. Trials of the father. Trauma of the father. This is the uh ringling brothers. The making of gold dust. Damn. Huh, that's funny. Family matters. Texas. That's what to say. They do a big, uh, damn it. Y'all would have said Texas hold them shit. <laughs> the grave diggers. The first show be last. The body count. The home on the range. Mm, pop shot. Off the top rope. Viva La Rasha. Wait, what? What you, what you say? Viva La Rasha. Viva La Rasha. <laughs> yeah, daddy. Not even on Mexico. There wasn't even no Mexicans. There wasn't no black people. There wasn't no shit in this world. <laughs> What the fuck? Texas, Texas Roundup. Okay. Uh, Daddy <clears throat> sings the blues. Dad gets the Longhorns. We the people. Going Von Dutch. I thought it sounded like that. This, I was gonna say this that. fine. I was going to say uh, Ed like Von said. Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Von of the Dead. God damn it. Yeah, it the origin story of He-Man. Mm. Oh, the Last Dragon. Back on the mat. Coming to the ring. Life through the ropes. Table ladder stage players. TLC. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can run with that. Even That's though yeah, yeah, that don't work. No flare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dad's dues. Mm. Have a nice day. No pickup at daddy daycare. Mm. You can't see me. Who's next? Goldberg, goddamn! What are you? Did you pull up a list of goddamn wrestling <laughs> fans? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Going through. I'm like, wait a minute, but <laughs> hey, that would that would tie into the movie though. It's fucked up. If he got, if he would, if he would came out. If you smell, if you yeah, smell, we, we <laughs> <laughs> that would tie into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't to be the shit. man. You got to beat the man. Oh, God damn it. All right, man. Let's pick one. <laughs> said dad's dudes. Yeah. Yeah, I, said curse it. I say curse it be thy name or ringling bros. Oh, I say ring limb brothers. God damn it. Them <laughs> broken neck, stomach line. <laughs> All the motherfuckers was throwing out. Coming out to the ring. Tables, ladders, and chairs. Dad's dudes. Family matters. I got to go with Cursed Be Thy Name on this one. So death do us part. Mm. These niggas wasn't married, nigga. Only one. It wasn't no Mexicans in that shit, neither. The Forgotten Son. <laughs> cursed Be Thy Name is my vote. Yeah, I'm going to vote Cursed Be Thy Name. We go. All right, man. There you have it. The official True View rename for the Iron Claw is Cursed Be Thy Name. And the official True View score Eel. Find out one, two, three, three. That's right. It's a three. We're going to hit them with that fever pitch. Who want to go first? Uh, yeah, man. This was a, a decent watch. Definitely piqued my interest. And wrestling again has been so long. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They show some, you know, great angles of. It's the fanatic of wrestling. It's the whole, you know what I'm saying, uh, the play on where wrestling is, you know what I'm saying, from the characters to, 
You know what I'm saying? The stunt double moves, you know what I'm saying? Just the whole play, man. And wrestling, you know what I'm saying, was, was a great era back in the day. I don't know where it's at right now. I know we was discussing it before the show started. I'm hearing this is getting a comeback. But I definitely recommend to, you know, people who I know that's tapped in with the wrestling. And that's been fans of wrestling. I don't know who these guys were. You know what I'm saying? I never really heard of them. But you know, it was a dope story, nevertheless. If you... <clears throat> Want to see a movie full of turnbuckles, tumbles, and bumbles? This here movie is for you. If you want to see a movie with a flailless Rick, ain't that a bitch? This here movie is for you. If you want to see a movie where the family Becomes death or death becomes them. This here movie is for you. Cursed be thy name. I will watch this movie again. And I will definitely recommend this, man. This has revived my interest in wrestling and what they're doing now. So I, I, I would definitely am going to tune in just to see. They might lose me again, but you never know. They might they might hold me. But, yeah, man, it was a good movie. It was a good watch. If you are a fan of wrestling, you'll like this movie. If you're a fan of wrestling, you will like this movie. If you like a movie that has triumphs, fails, and uh, falls, uh, this would be a very good movie for you to watch. I do recommend this, and I would definitely be rewatching. Now, you see, the only thing constant in life is change. Hmm. And we must all evolve. Hmm. Hmm. All well, right? Preach, preach. But we got to respect the foundation and what you see here is the foundation mm -hmm. and what it takes to be great and create building blocks for others to grow upon i do really appreciate this film i don't know if i would re-watch it but i definitely would recommend it and i advise you to go check it out even if you are not the biggest wrestling fan, I feel like you can come away with a great story and have some attachment to this true life events here. Yeah, do that. No, that's what's up, man. Y'all let us know if we got this shit right or wrong, man. Y'all head on over there to trueviewpodcast.com. That's trueviewpodcast, T-R-U-V-U-E podcast.com, where you can like, subscribe, share, and comment to help us defeat that all-powerful algorithm that's trying to hold a black pod down. Thank you for riding with us over at the YouTube, man. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications, the subscribe button, the thumbs up, share us with somebody, and leave a comment. Drop in the comments something that you want us to review because we here at the True View Podcast know that it's not just about our review, but the conversation with the crew. So go ahead, drop that in the comments, and we will let the comedy ensue. Make it do its thing. True View Podcast. Let's get it. Let's go. Definitely do everything that Melly Mill just said, guys. Leave a comment. We'll definitely get back to you. Uh, leave us some recommendations. Let us know what you want us to watch. There you have it. There it go. That, that'll be the end of the show, man. It's True View Podcast, and you know what the hell we always say. One, two, three. Woo! Filing and profiling, baby. Woo! <laughs> go watch some shit, it's man. Feeling. <laughs> the rock says... <laughs> Lemon <laughs> tuxedo wearing. Ooh, let's go talk some shit. Woo! True View Podcast. A bunch of different views. <laughs> the boys keep it real, man. I really like listening to them, man. They funny. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>